Hi, Rachel. I'm so sorry I haven't posted in a while. Um, I've been busy with other stuff. And this diamond painting project over here. And in the summer, there's been a lot of visits from friends. So, and the whole last day of school craze. But we're here at The Brightest Night, the last book of the first arc of Wings of Fire. Prologue, Queen Oasis, 20 years ago. It's almost impossible to steal from a queen, but something is scrabbling around my palace. Hi, mother. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, sorry. It's almost impossible to steal from a queen, but something is scrabbling around my palace. Hi, mother. Out of my way. What's the hurry, royal crisis? Let me guess, Smolder tried to run off with his girlfriend again. No, I took care of Smolder's girlfriend. I'm just going to check the treasury. Ew, sparkly things. Good night, mother. Don't touch anything. Don't touch anything. I know. Don't touch anything. I know what you want to see, Blister, you conniving viper, but it won't do any good until I'm dead. I have three daughters, but who will end up on my throne? Dizzy Blaze, she'd be a terrible queen, but she's an acceptable daughter. Burn is biggest and strongest, but we get along. From the moment she hatched, I've known Blister is the one who's going to kill me. Do you smell scavenger? I wouldn't know. They're too squishy for my taste. Scavengers! The scavengers robbed me! How dare they! What did they take? Small things, but they are. Sorry, my phone was losing storage. The Eye of Onyx. The Eye of Onyx is a very powerful thing. We'll get it back and have roasted scavenger for breakfast. I'm going out there. Wake, burn, and hurry. Of course, mother, right away. There they are, vile little thieves. Only three of them I can handle this myself. After all, what's the worst that could happen? Oh no. Part one, the shifting sand. We're fulfilling a prophecy. You can't control destiny, Morseer. On the contrary, I certainly can, considering I'm the one who made it up. No, we were born to end the war. Afraid not. You're as ordinary as any dragon. All those dragons who believe in us, the, who believe in the prophecy in us, who will save them. No one. The war will drag on endlessly. <laughs> More dragons will die every day for generations, wondering about the dragonettes who are supposed to save them, but obviously failed. He's lying. I know he is. The prophecy is my fate. It's my purpose. Why else would I be so weird looking? Why else did my parents abandon my egg in the sand? I never cared that they didn't want me. Lots of heroes don't have parents. There's nothing more important than stopping the war. We have to fulfill the prophecy. How could the entire point of my life be a lie? No, I don't believe it. Morrisier is vindictive, cruel, and manipulative. He'd say anything to hurt us. The prophecy is real. It has to be. Rumble. So many night wings. Sorry. Everyone, calm down. Listen to Queen Glory. Your new queen is speaking. I wish I could get away from all these dragons right now. But Glory sent guards to keep everyone here, I guess. Be. <laughs> Sort of. How can I face my friends? They act like they don't care about the prophecy at all. Tsunami never wanted to fulfill the prophecy. She doesn't understand how important it is. Claire would be happy to sleep and eat and take care of us all day. Starflight would love to stop worrying about it. Glory has enough to do here now that she's queen. None of them will fight for our destiny. They'll tell me I'm silly like they always do. That tunnel leads to the Kingdom of Sand. In the desert, I can fly 
and fly all the way to the horizon without ever stopping to think, you're just as ordinary as any other dragon. Nightwings, your home is gone. Your queen is dead. If the prophecy was fake, why was everyone so awful to glory about her not being in it? Why make her feel useless if her are all useless? Because it's real. It has to be. How can I prove it? This is your chance to start over. If you mess it up, you'll lose this home too. You will treat my rain wings with respect. And in return, that's... And in return, because that's the kind of dragons they are. It's only much kinder than you deserve. Tonight, you'll stay here. I don't want any Nightwings wandering off until we can count you. If you're feeling like we don't trust you, it's because we don't. None of you are welcome in the Rainwing Village until you earn that trust. But we'll get wet out here. Feel free to go sleep on your nice dry island. I heard it's quite warm there. The Nightwings don't look as sorry as they should. I wonder if the Rainwings are beginning to think this was a huge mistake. After all, the Nightwings were kidnapping them and planning to invade. I mean, I know the Nightwings are starving and desperate. I know their island was a lava-ridden wasteland, even before the volcano erupted. But still, they were so terrible. Starflight was brilliant for offering to let them come, so they pledged royalty to clean glory. It's poetic, just, it's poetic justice for them to have a Rainwing Queen. But can we ever really forgive them? Should we even try? They look so badly shaken and subdued. Seeing their home buried by the volcano must have been an awful shock. Probably a bit like being told your whole life is a lie, I imagine. This one, he can't stay here. He's the worst of all of them. He did all those venom experiments on us. And that's Mastermind, Starflight's father. That's Starflight's father, Master. <laughs> I forgot she said that. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry, it was... I was just... For science. Tie him up. We'll figure out what to... Look out! Everyone get down! Flash! <laughs> Starflight! Mm -mm. Mm -mm. But I have to make sure Starflight's all right. Quick, while they're all distracted. Now what? I'm not bowing to a rainwing dragonette. Me neither, strong wings. Plus, they'll kill me if they remember I was Mastermind's assistant. It sounds like there's... We are promised the rainforest, but with our own queen and it's in charge. Imagine rainwing telling us what to do. Bye. It sounds like there's three of them, and they're moving fast, like they already know this area well. These are probably some of the dragons who came through the tunnel to kidnap Rainwings. What do they want with me? Well, we grabbed her like you suggested. What now? We'll hold her hostage until they make one of us queen. Like who? Greatness is weak, and there aren't any other heirs. Me, obviously. Think, prey hunter. If that Rainwing can be queen of her tribe, why not me? That would be so excellent. Even better than being in the prophecy. Well, too bad for you. They won't give you anything in exchange for me. I'm nobody. Just a weird-looking sandwing with a useless tail. I'll be pretty annoyed if I carried this little thing through the forest for no reason. Fierce Teeth, I thought you said she'd be worth something. Fierce Teeth, Starflight's half-sister. We can use her if she's who I think she is. Are you Sunny? Starflight yapped on and on about his Sunny in his sleep. Yeah, this... <laughs> yeah, this is her. My brother's totally in love with her. He'll give us anything to get her back. Oh dear, that might actually be true. I love you, Sonny. I've always loved you. Oh, me? Really me? But he's Starflight, my friend. I don't want to hurt him. I don't know what to do. Focus! Don't let them use you to hurt your friends. Didn't you see Starflight's injuries? He's too wounded to have any say in what happens next. Face it, you can't use me. You should rejoin the other Nightwings. Nice try. 
Well, let's find out if they want her. The Obsidian Mirror. The Obsidian Mirror. Nice work, Prey Hunter. No surprise my greatness didn't think to save it. <laughs> what is what is it? An old piece of animus touch treasure. We use it for hmm. Don't worry, strong wings, we'll kill her before she can tell anyone anything important. Go ahead and try, no one else has managed it yet. Show me how it works. We just need a name. Uh, someone important. That, that Rainwing Queen, obviously. Glory. Glory. <laughs> okay. Clay, Starf... Clay, Starflight will wake up, right? I think so, Glory, but he was burned pretty badly. This is happening right now? That's brilliant. In his eyes, will they be a in his eyes will they be alright? I don't know. Hey Hey Tsunami. I did a perimeter sweep. I filled the gaps with rain wings holding spears and blow guns. I don't think they look very scary, but hopefully night wings will. That's why I need you two here, to keep an eye on the night wings. I know you want to be a starflight, but you and Clay are the most intimidating dragons I have. More ha, that's me, intimidating. Rrr. Well, you are until you do that. At least Clay's not bright pink, that's extreme. At least Clay's not bright pink, that's extremely helpful right now. It's alright, Sunny's probably at the village already. She'll look after Starflight no matter how upset she is. Why is. Sorry, I'm, I'm reading for this fast, you know. I'm getting the voices mixed up. Why is she upset? Turns out the prophecy is fake. Marcia made it up. It was part of the whole plan to steal the rainforest. What? Isn't that crazy? I guess that's why Marcia wanted us to choose Blister. I'll bite that dragon's head off and stuff him in a volcano. Too late. He's already a pile of ashes. The whole thing was made up. There's no destiny, no wings of fire, no reason for us to be trapped in the cave our whole lives, no amazing mythical Skywing who's infinitely better than me, absolutely no need for any of us at all. Hey, I'm mad too, but let's go back and kill him again. At least we don't have to worry about it anymore. No destiny means we can do whatever we want. The towns of peace can go. The towns of peace can go shove the pepper fish up their noses. But Sutter was really upset. She was always kind of excited about the prophecy. Kind of excited? Like saving the world was just some fun adventure? Oh, Sunny will be fine. She's always happy. But next week, she won't even remember the prophecy. She just needs something new to care about. Well, I can think of lots of ways to keep her busy. For one, she can find me someone to yell at. If I didn't have to act like a queen right now, it blows her away. Not too impressed with your intelligence, are they? It sounds like they like her, but not like they think she's particularly useful or important. I'm not sure they get off the. I'm not sure they'll give us the rainforest in exchange for her. I'm not either. Not that they should. But what would they do to get me back? Anything? Or will they figure? Hey, she'll be fine as a hostage, remember. She's always happy about everything, and it should be pretty distracting, too. Perfect. As if acting happy means I don't really care about anything. As if I could just be distracted. If I, as if I could just be distracted from all the dragons counting on us. As if my brain was the size of a blueberry. Three moons! I'll just rescue myself, then. Then I'll show them. And then I'll fulfill the prophecy all by myself, too. And they'll see it was real all along. There's another option. Someone else who definitely wants this stunted standwing. You're right, pro You're right, Prey Hunter. Three someones. We could sell her to the highest bidder. Whichever queen will raise an army to take back the rainforest for us. Uh-oh. Baron has the strongest army, and it would only take a few days to get to her. I am not about to be handed over to a Sandwing Queen. I've spent enough time in prison already, thanks. If we fly straight over the map, chomp. Yeah! <laughs> Phew!
fierce teeth. Are you all right? Don't let her get away. Strong wings. Catch her. Kill her if you have to. Sunny ran away. And that is going to be the end for, for the brightest night, part one. Hope you enjoyed.